Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, Armin69 here, which is AKA Maxlin Studios here. And today, we're going to be teaching you how to install Windows 7 on a blank Dell Latitude laptop computer. Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial other than we did on the other Windows computer with VirtualBox. So all we have right here, um, we're going to be installing a uh, new copy of Windows 7 Professional on this laptop right here, which is a Dell Latitude E6400, I believe. And we're going to be installing Windows 7 on this laptop right here. Okay, so let's let's begin what we need first. So first, what we need is a flash drive to install the drivers for the computer that support uh, Dell from the Dell uh, hardware. Like, yeah, it is. And second of all, we need a Windows 7 installation disk. Yep, right here. This is a Windows 7 Professional 64-bit ISO uh, DVD di installation disk. So now, what we're going to do now is first, we are going to turn on the laptop first. And we're going to hold F12 first. And now we're going to... And now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the installation disk in the disk drive. Oops, there we go. Okay, and now since we... Alright. Alright, now once you have the installation disk in there, you're just going to press escape. And we're going to press any key to boot from a CD or DVD. And it's going to pop up the installation process for Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. And now we've got this Windows 7 Professional 64-bit installation disk uh, installation going on here. So it's going to, once it's done loading the files, we're going to get back to the installation as possible. Okay guys, we're at the first installation screen here, so first we'll leave all that alone. Now we're going to click Next, Install Now, and now we're going to click on Accept the License Terms, click Next, and we're going to click Custom, and we're going to highlight our um, hard drive right here. We're going to click on Drive Options, and we're going to click on Format, OK, and it's going to erase all the data on there. And now it's disk zero partition one right here. And it's the system. Yep. Now we're going to click on next. And this installation process is going to take a while, probably from 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. I'll come back to this as when this is done. And this installation should be fully completed as soon as possible. Okay, now we're at the setup screen. We're just gonna enter in a username. And a computer name as well. Password, um, you don't have to. Um, I'm going to, just like the same thing I did with VirtualBox. And I'll type in password hint. And the product key, I am not going to enter in that as well. And I'll use recommended settings. And I'm going to change the time to Eastern Time. And we'll click on Next. And join a wireless network. We're going to join Mario Bros. As soon as I type in the internet password, I'm going to get back to the video. And for the network, I'll call it a home network. Okay, we have made it to the desktop just in time. So I'm going to change my screen resolution to the highest value now. And I'll click apply, keep changes, OK. And, all right, OK. 
and now we're going to install the video and latest version of Internet Explorer driver from the USB flash drive now and now since we've already installed Windows we can eject the um, installation disk now alright first we're gonna install the graphics driver first and then the latest version of Internet Explorer alright so now we're gonna plug in the flash drive to install the drivers now and now we're going to click on open folder to view files and now we're going to click on this NVIDIA multi-device um, and depending on what type of processor you have in your computer you're going to have to go to Dell's um, web page and download the different drivers for your computer just depending on how to what type of processor you have alright click on yes continue okay yes and they're successfully unzipped. Okay. And here's the setup. Alright, now we're going to click on next. Yes. And it's installing the driver components. Okay. Alright, the installation's all done. Now we're going to say restart my computer now. So we click finish. Restarts to computer. And once this is graphics are started, I mean when when the computer's restarted. I uh, will get back to the video. Okay, we're at the login screen. We're gonna type in our user password. Oops. Okay, and now since we've already installed the graphics drivers, there is a NVIDIA um, control panel and it also made the aerial theme get enabled I mean the iro theme get enabled so I'll click on my favorite aero theme and here it is here's the aero theme it works perfectly and also we're going to install is the latest version of Internet Explorer now so let's just get back to our flash drive and find EIE 1, I mean 11, in set Win 764 installer. So we'll go and double click on that, and it's going to install. Click yes, authenticating. Just like a same thing, like just click yes or whatever. And now it says install Internet Explorer 11. We're going to click install, and it's going to take a while while this Internet Explorer 11 uh, latest version installs. So when this installation process is done, I will get back to the video as soon as possible. Alright, the Internet Explorer update has been completed, so let's we're going to click on restart now. And after this restarts, I'm going to come back to the video after it has been fully updated. Alright, we're back at the login screen now. We're just gonna enter in the user password. And now, since we've already installed um, the uh, latest version of Internet Explorer, which is Internet Explorer 11, there's Internet Explorer 11 right here. And now we can click on Internet Explorer 11 or Internet Explorer, whatever you want to call it. and the latest version of Internet Explorer is here so now we're going to click on um, use recommended settings okay and the latest version of Internet Explorer is already here okay we've got all the drivers installed on this computer and we've got this computer running now so now we're going to eject our flash drive because we don't even want it anymore or we don't want it anymore
and that is how you install Windows 7 64-bit professional on your computer, blank computer, laptop, whatever laptop it's called. Okay, folks, I hope that helped all out. So just make a comment, like, thumbs up, thumb, thumbs down, subscribe, all that jazz. So have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys later.